Yeah, it's really enjoyable, really good uh, today with the main day of training, you know, the first sort of training where we're all together. You know, the Uddersfield boys came, came today, so it's a complete squad now and uh, things are going well. It's, uh, you know, got a couple more sessions to go for the big game. What's the biggest difference when you compare this to, obviously, your day in, day out stuff at, uh, with the Rhinos? Well, I mean, it, obviously you're around new guys as well, but the fact that you're together all day, uh, which is un unlike when you're with your club, apart from when you go away to places like Catalan. So you're around the boys um, all day, not only at training, in the gym. Um, so you get to mingle and, and have chats with them, and, and especially, the, you know, obviously you, your opponents to these guys are uh, every other week, but this week your teammates and, uh, you know, you get to know them a bit more. And you can see there's a real camaraderie in the camp. It's, it's very much like a... A club team in many ways, everyone gets on well with each other, and I think that's a testament to what Steve McNamara has brought to the England setup. Yeah, absolutely, that that's the whole point of bringing the you know the team the, the camps together you know a few times a year, um, and that certainly is correct that you need a sort of a team vibe with England. Um, you know, it needs to be a club club feel, and and it is, and, and that's down to the camps, like saying Steve Mack and the way he's running the program. And what about the exiles? Tough opposition. It's what England needs ahead of the you know the World Cup in eighteen months' time. How, how much are you looking forward to the game? Well, you know, I'd love to be part of it. Hopefully, I get picked in the team. But it, it's 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 a fantastic concept. I watched the game last year, and uh, it was really really intense. And the stats suggest that you know how many played the balls there were in the game. So, so that obviously uh, shows just how intense it was out there. But I think it'll get better and better each year. You know, this year there's two games. Uh, I think it'll raise raise the bar from last year. So, um, like I say, hopefully I'm part of it and uh, and sample what our sort of own own state of origin is like. And Daniel Anderson is you know is a similar a strong looking squad. It's, it'll be a real test for England. It will, yeah. I mean, uh, there's some great Aussies over here and Kiwis and, and uh, you know, you know, opposing players now over here. You know, the, everybody that comes over here are world-class players. So, um, you know, you just got to look at that squad and see how many quality players there is in there. So, um, you know, it's an ideal, ideal test for, for England. And just finally, you know, looking at your recent club form, it's been a bit difficult ahead of you know, in recent weeks. Is it nice to come away from that environment and, and does it take the pressure off the, you know, the Leeds players in particular coming into a, a new environment ahead of this Exiles game? It does, yeah. Um, obviously, Leeds, Leeds uh, at the moment are going great, which, which is um, something we're, we're trying to get back on track really quickly. But, but like you say, for this week, it's all about England. So you can put your sort of club to the side and and uh, and concentrate on playing well for England and, and doing a job against the Exiles. And when that's done, you can get back to your club and uh, and hopefully put things right.